Hello, hello, how are you? I am rolling up my sleeves because I am ready to show you my monthly empties. I, I cannot believe it's been a month. It has been a sweet time. And um, yeah, I have quite a few, but I feel like I had more last month. Um, so maybe I just was like less product heavy this month. I think I've had less baths so, though. So that might be why. Okay, anyway, let's, Let's crack them open and I'll, I'll talk you through everything. So the first thing we have is a Soap and Glory shampoo. This is Pink Big, which is the weightless shampoo. Um, I have talked quite a lot about Soap and Glory hair care. I really like it. This was good, definitely good. Not my favorite of the Soap and Glory shampoos. I thought it was like good, but not as good as others. I preferred the purple tone one and I preferred the junk the gunk or gunk junk the gunk i was like junk the gunk or gunk the junk junk the gunk which is a detoxing one this was good for sure but it was it, i just preferred the purple tone or the clarifying one it was definitely good definitely would recommend probably would repurchase but not the most mind-blowing of them all i don't know i don't know it was good it was fine I'd rebuy, but I wouldn't bang on about how amazing it is. Next, I'm gonna show you my deodorant. Mitchum, <laughs> again, I'm a sweaty person. I like Mitchum, it's strong, it's good. I buy the Powder Fresh, which I think is a very pretty powdery scent. So yeah, that is my deodorant. Oh, I just had a coughing fit. Oh, okay. Um, I may have said I didn't have many baths, but I actually did. I had um, West Lab Cleansing Himalayan Salt Bath. Um, these are bath salts, they're really cheap, they're really good. They're just really good. They're very cleansing, very detoxing, very cheap. Like literally, you can get them from Look Fantastic and buy them in bulk, which I often do. Um, and they're about a tenner for a huge bag. Or if you want a smaller bag like this, you can buy them from Asda for like literally like three, four pounds a bag. Very, very good. They are unscented, so what I usually do is I put a cup full of them in and then some scented loveliness to kind of get the full bath experience. But I always, always, always put in a cup of West Lab and I am West Lab addict these days. Oh, this Miller Harris Honey and Lime Soap. I love this. This was so nice. It was soap and a rope. I've got a tiny bit left. It had um, like herbs in it. So it was kind of like slightly exfoliating, smelt lovely, felt really good. Both me and my boyfriend commented how much we liked it. It was just a really lovely, lovely, lovely soap. I am gonna buy another couple of bars of this. I'm probably gonna give one to my dad. I'm gonna keep some for ourselves. I really, really, really liked it. Would definitely recommend to a friend. What next? Um, oh, an eye cream. This is the Glam Glow Bright Eyes Eye Cream. I really like this. It was just nice, it worked. I felt like my eye area looked and felt very comfortable and healthy. Um, I really liked it, it just went on well, it was a good consistency, very comfortable. I never felt like it was too much or too little. I just really liked it, I would definitely, definitely rebuy. I don't, I can't really ever describe why an eye cream is good, apart from like, I just really liked it and I thought it was really good. Um, yeah, I like it, I really liked it. I would definitely repurchase. Next, I have a little Shiseido. Now I got this in a latest in beauty box. I loved it, I thought it was really good. Second time I've had one of these little guys. Really, really liked it. My only criticism is that it's from latest in beauty, so it's a little miniature. It's 10 mil, so it did last. Lasted way over a week, absolutely loved it, but I want more, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It's like, I want more. 10 mils is not enough. I want the full size bottle and I need to hurry up and buy it. Also, because it is just a little miniature, I had to like tip it into my hands and I felt like if I'd bought the full size version, it would have had a pump, which would have been much easier to manage. But really good product, really happy to have used it again. Um, I loved it, I thought it was really good. Well done, Latest in Beauty, for bringing so much joy into my life. Okay, next thing, I've got more deodorant. And then I've got more deodorant. This one's actually sure. Um, I think just before look, lockdown, 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 I went into Boots or maybe Poundland or whatever and just bought a load of soap, toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant, all those kind of like 
essentials, tampons, blah, blah, blah. And one of the deodorants that I bought was Shaw. I liked it, it was good, performed well. Um, I do prefer Mitchum because I prefer the smell and that's just what I normally buy, but it was good, it was good. I cannot complain. Then another deodorant. God, I really rattle through the deodorant, don't I? I must be a very sweaty person. <laughs> Um, more shampoo. No, this is conditioner. This is living proof conditioner. God, my bottles are all really skanky. This is the frizz proof, frizz helping conditioner. Obviously, I need that. My hair does get very frizzy. It's quite fine. It's quite flyaway. It gets quite frizzy. It's got a natural curl, which is just basically dropped into frizz as I get older. I really like this. I really like this. I thought it was really good. It came with a shampoo. Ooh, I think I drop something every video. Um, I think the shampoo I used up maybe like last month. And so I had some conditioner left over. I really liked it. I would buy more. I do really like Living Proof products. I think they're very good. And I definitely felt like it helped my frizz. What next? Oh, another little something something from Latest and Beauty. This was a tiny little Jalique. I think it came from Latest and Beauty anyway. This is a 50ml Jalique. It's just a little face mist. I use this as a toner. I also use it to hydrate my beauty sponge. I just think it's a really good product. I cannot complain. And it's rose scented and I love it. And I am a big fan of Jalique skincare. It's just... It's just very nice, very natural, very rose filled, and I'm into that, very balancing. Um, next, oh, I've got the Balance Meat Vitamin C Repair Serum. I've got more of this actually in this month's Look Fantastic box. Um, I really like this product, it's very good. It is very vitamin C y, and it smelled lovely, and it, I felt like it radiated and boosted my skin, and yeah, I just really liked it. It's 99.8% natural. So it's very good for kind of like doing all the magic but never causing any irritation or sensitivity and I, I just I really like Balance Me for their just natural hard-working products I think they're great they have also had a rebrand recently which I think is really nice and we're seeing a little bit more of Balance Me because of their new packaging and it's really nice to see them out and about a bit more because I really like their products um next I have a very very used up hand cream. I have this like oil, um, it's like a paint thing where you basically slip it in and it takes, <laughs> it like makes it crinkly and it takes all the product out. So I don't know if you can see, but there is literally not a shred left in here. Mm. Yeah, this is by E Cooking, who I have spoken about quite a lot. This hand cream was absolutely lovely. I really, really, really loved it. It was a great hand cream. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing this because it was amazing. I'm also using their hand wash at the moment as well in my bathroom. Actually, no, in my kitchen. It's in my kitchen. Looks beautiful in my kitchen. The packaging is gorgeous and I really loved this hand cream. I thought it was amazing. I need to get more. Yeah, hence why I squeezed every last drop out of it. If you don't know e-cooking, they are a Danish skincare brand. Everything they make is like raw, organic. And great it's really good I really 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 like it I'm also using their hydrating mask I use that as like a night cream sleep mask and it's really good really good okay next it's so funny I was like <laughs> I was like I barely bathed this month but actually I use this as both a bath and a shower gel this is um, Elemis sharp shower body wash this is actually from the men's skincare range because it's got a very God, the bottle is so skanky now it's got a very like fresh, almost spear minty scent. So it's quite like revitalizing and uplifting and it feels very clean, very cleansing. And it's really lovely. I used a little bit in the bath. Um, I put it in with the Himalayan salts to kind of give it a little bit of a scent. And then I also used it as a shower product. Both me and my boyfriend really love this. Um, it is from the men's range, so if you are struggling to find it in the women's section of Elemis, you might have to look in the men's sports section. But it was really good, really fresh, really lovely, just really, really, really nice and invigorating, as it says on the bottle. I loved it. I really liked it. I love Elemis. I love them. Um, what next? Ooh, this. I have Neil's Yard Remedies wild rose beauty balm i love this stuff i've talked about it many times i think it's amazing it's a multi-use balm i can still just about smell it 
It smells of rose and frankincense, which is kind of the scent, of the signature scent of Neil's Yard. Lovely, lovely, lovely product. I use it usually as a sleep balm. I use it as a cleanser or a face mask or a lip balm. It's just a really lovely, hardworking, multi-use product, which I'm just such a fan of. Um, it smells gorgeous. It's just lovely Neil's Yard loveliness and I really like it. I do tend to use it probably most as either a lip balm because I quite like the roseness of it or I use it as a sleep mask because I just wake up and my skin just feels so good and replenished and I don't know I just really love it as a sleep mask and also the rose and the frankincense is really like balancing and lovely at night time as well so love this product it's just a mini because I got it from a latest beauty box but it did last a good amount of time because you only need a tiny amount. A little really does go a long way. Um, yeah, and then finally, finally, I managed to whiz through this month's empties much quicker. Last month's video was 30 minutes long. And I was like, this is a lot of talking. So I've tried to keep this much quicker. And actually, luckily, I've had less products as well. But my final thing is the It Cosmetics. CC cream. I wear shade Fair. Um, there is a Fair, there's a Fair Light, there's a Light, and then they go darker. Um, I don't even know how many shades there are. I just know that I personally use a Fair, and I get very confused because there is a Fair and there is a Light, and the Fair is lighter than the Light, even though I always think that the Light should be lighter than the Fair. So I get myself confused. I have got the wrong one many times um so I'm always trying to remind myself that I need the fair not the light the fair is the fairer shade um so this is amazing I've talked about this so many times it's like the best CC cream foundation ever it color corrects it's like the slogan is your skin but better and I 100% agree it feels very light it feels very natural it feels very medium coverage but it also just makes your skin look and feel really good um it just makes me go from having like okay skin to pretty great skin i also really like the color correcting element of it because i do have um some redness in my skin especially around my chin which is apparently hormonal based and i've tried a lot of different products to try and get rid of it naturally and i can't i don't know i don't know what i can do <laughs> Um, but I find that this just a tiny amount really does color correct and also yeah just evens out my skin tone and makes me look a million times better. Um, I am wearing this today but not this one I'm wearing the um, matte version but just a tiny amount and um, yeah I love it I love this foundation. Every other foundation I think is just trying to be this foundation like it is the perfect foundation it's an SPF of 50 it's just brilliant it's absolutely brilliant i cannot say enough good things about it i will recommend this bad boy until the cows come home i think it's the best foundation on the market and um yeah everything else i ever get is just kind of like almost as good or as good but double the price like it's just the best it is the best um, this probably lasted me actually a really good amount of time. I squeezed and squeezed. I may still cut it open and try and get the last drakes out, but I really, I've done pretty well, I think. I have done pretty well. I worked hard to get as much of this out as possible because that's how much I love it. Um, but I do generally try and use all my products until they are completely empty because I'm a thrifty kind of girl and I like to get the last little bit out of everything. Um, anyway, that's my empties. Um, standout favourites probably include the Balance Me. I think I should get a full-size product of this soon. It was very good. West Lab, I love. It's so cheap, so good, so good. Um, Mitchum, of course. The Soap and Glory, I like. Oopsies. Um, <laughs> dropping things. The Soap and Glory, I liked, but I would definitely recommend different shampoo i think i'd probably go gunk the junk that's probably my favorite and also my boyfriend loves gunk the junk because it's exfoliating and he has a shaved head and he likes to exfoliate his head as well as washes one millimeter of hair um i loved the glam glow eye cream i thought that was brilliant 
the CC cream has to get a mention again. The Neil's Yard, I need to buy a full size pot of that again. It's so good. Loved the Elemis, wonderful, really good, especially for the warmer days because you just want something really clean and crisp and just refreshing and uplifting. And this was it, perfect for the summer. I need to buy some more because it's only gonna get hotter. And then I loved the e-cooking hand cream. That was also a real treat for the month. And that's kind of it, they are my empties. That's what I thought of them. Um, I think there must have been some things that I throw away because I'm sure I must have used more products than this. But who knows? Who knows? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you again soon. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. Anyway, thank you again. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>